Hey guys, it's North Ninja here, and welcome to my first Scrolls video. So, if you don't know what Scrolls is, it's a uh, fairly recent game made by Mojang, the creators of Minecraft, of course. So, I decided to give it a try because I love Minecraft, so they probably didn't make a bad game. Um, it's $20.95 US dollars, I believe. It's in beta mode right now, so the price will probably increase. So, this is a good time to buy this game because it is amazing. Um, it's like, it's like a virtual trading card board game, it's heavily strategy based, it's not really like Minecraft at all, but the, what, the one thing they have in common is they're both really good games. As you can see, there's not that many players, there's only 2,000 players online right now, I am playing kind of early in the morning right here, we're in .95, and let's get into this, so let me just quickly show you my stuff. I am 11 and 9, so it's 11 games, 1 20 in 20 games. You think that's actually okay, pretty goodish, but it's, I don't think it is because I've, I'm actually 0 and 1 in online games. Um, you can do like trials against the computer on easy and medium difficulty and hard difficulty, and it counts those too. I mean, three of them I could have won, but I surrendered because I had to do stuff. But I'm not going to really worry about my record. I don't think you guys, if you get the game, should worry until you finish all the trials. Um, and yeah, since I only have 11 wins and I'm ranked 26,000, it's pretty good considering I think the amount of Minecraft players there are right now is like, I think there's 20 million combined copies sold of the Pocket Edition, PC, and Xbox, which is crazy. Alright, so I think I'm going to show my deck first. So when you start the game, you have a choice of one of three decks. It's kind of like choosing a starting Pokemon. This is this is going to be, you'll get 50 cards for this deck and zero for the other one. So you're basically going to be playing with these cards for the whole game. But you can add to this deck and try to collect the other decks if you want to. So there's three decks. There is... Growth, Energy, and Order. Um, I'll explain each of them very shortly. I don't want to have this intro too big. I just want to get to the gameplay soon. So, Growth is... Uh, I don't have... I only have nine Growth cards. I'll show you what they look like. These are the Growth cards. They, um... And there's creatures, enchantments, spells, walls, structures for all three of these decks. So, don't think these like only enchantment cards. Um, but... Growth is basically, it's a very, it's like a, it's a very powerful deck, it's mixed, it's not like, not heavily spells based, you do have powerful units, it's a good deck overall, and then energy is more very powerful units, they have high attack, high defense, they will just be hard, they will just be hard hitters, but there's not as much strategy involved to her in this, it's more just like, place down units and uh, they'll wreak havoc and hope that your opponent can't counter them but then i chose as you can see i have 67 pieces of this card order order uh has not as powerful units they won't have as much uh attack defense but there's a lot of uh, crazy spells you can use a lot of strategy involved with order so i thought that'd be the most fun to learn that's why i chose it and then after you win games you can go to the store to buy card packs and try to get more cool cards so right now i play with a combined you have 50 you can play in a game you can play with 50 of your cards so i have a combined deck right now of order and energy so that's it just choose cards for that one and yeah so this is i'm not going to really go too in depth on how to play the game i would check out somebody else's video for that but i am going to give you guides slash walkthroughs however you want to call it strategies on how to beat the medium and hard challenges at least most of them so uh, i already beat this one and i recorded it i will do usually post commentaries for um for scrolls because it's very hard to commentate and think because there's a lot of thinking to do when you're playing scrolls and i want to really show you tell you guys what i'm doing so i'll do that and also I forgot to say, no face cam for these videos because there's not really much room on the screen. When there's when the game's going, you have to read everything. 
And speaking of reading everything on the screen, you should wa probably watch this in full screen, 720, 1080p. I'm not sure which one I'm going to put it in yet, but there's a lot of little stuff to see. So yeah, let's uh, let's watch me uh, beat this guy, and you guys can see you can have a good strategy with energy order. All right. So let me first say off the bat that this scrolls game was much faster than most. They're probably going to be usually closer to 35 minutes to 15 minutes. So in each trial, you see he started out with those three big guys. Um, every trial they'll give you like some kind of handicap. Let's give them him kind of some kind of handicap. So I decide to uh, play uh, Dust Runner first because. I you start out with uh, in this try you start out with three order and three energy in the bottom left corner, so I am able to play this dust runner because if I don't, that'd be kind of a waste of a turn because I can't use it on anything else. It's a pretty good uh, guy. He can destroy any units with one hit if they have three or less health, which is very valuable. And now I believe I played an obelisk, or maybe I didn't. Yeah, I played an obelisk and a royal infantryman, I believe. So th the royal infantryman is to increase the increase the health of everybody in his row. It's pretty good. Right now, I'm looking at the those guys that he has on his uh, side. They're pretty powerful. So I want to put that obelisk there as a wall to structure five health, so it will it will absorb some attacks. So now. I decide to play the Royal Infantryman to increase both of their uh, health and just give myself more units on the board. But every turn before you go, you can, not before you go, but every turn during your turn, you can sacrifice a card for more for more energy or two more cards. So I got Duke Infantryman and Inferno Blast. I don't have enough uh, order to play them, so I just played that guy. And I actually should have moved the uh, Dust Runner forward and put him, put the Royal Infantryman behind him. That would maximize the health, but I'm a little new to the game, so I don't really know much. And what you just saw is he used a uh, Tick Bomb to destroy my Obelisk in one hit, which is pretty annoying. But at least that used up his whole turn. So now if, they're if their tile underneath their unit is glowing, it means they are going to attack. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, guys. Um... To win the game, you have to destroy three of the five opponent idols first. Alright, so yeah. So those guys are going to attack, and that big one's going to do five damage on that idol. So I want to absorb some of that. So first I'm going to make that guy... I'll, I'll use a spell that will make that guy uh, attack right now. So he will at least take down one of those things. And then... This Inferno Blast is not going to kill anything. But it is at least going to hurt them. Because there's nothing else I could really do with my uh, energy right now. And this Duke of Infantry is like the is like the Royal Infantry Man, except for he helps attack and not health. Which is a little better, that's why he costs two order to play. So I decided just to use the Inferno Blast. I know the guy on top, that little guy on top, will die anyways. So I didn't really have to click on him there. I could have just clicked on the big guy and I would have got the guy next to him. Okay, so, now instead of playing a crossbowman, I played a ducal infantryman, and now I think, yeah, then I just uh, swap him out for two other cards, and I could use those next round. So that, uh, that infantryman is just to absorb an attack, and he won't die because he has three health, and that little guy has two power. He just played a clock library. Or I don't know what that actually might not be called that you see that big glow you just set on my tower with five power But that weird thing that's scrolling that's gonna give him a lot of scrolls are the what the cards are called in the game And that's gonna give him uh, Three three scrolls after that things countdown is done by the way the countdown is how often they attack it's underneath the attack and health so now th That's a good card, but I don't need to use that right now. It's just going to um, hurt everything on that row so, uh, right now I'm just debating what cards to use. As you can see, I don't have a time limit, so I can take the time I want. On um, top in the middle it has the uh, time limit. When you're playing online, you're going to have to uh, do it, I think, under like 90 seconds or something. Alright, so right now I want to 
maximize my power. And if I move that guy there, he'll gain one attack because with the Ducal Infantryman, he gives one plus one attack to everybody in the row. So that will uh, do two, ma two damage to that uh, scrolling thing that gives him the scrolls. And I want to destroy that before it can give him the scrolls because that would be great if he had them. So I just played a good uh, Spearman just to play more units on the board. And that wasn't that good. He just used a spark card, which I actually have that card in my deck, I believe. All it does is you just it does just two damage to any unit on the board. So now I see those two big units are going to attack that idol, and that idol is dead. And I don't feel I don't have any walls, I don't think I can protect against it, so I'm just gonna let it be. Not even I could kill the front guy right now, but I decide not to because I think that if he shoots that, it's just wasting his attack, so I'm fine with that, because the big guy's going to destroy it anyways, because my idol only has 5 health back there. I'm just looking at their attack and health right now. And I know that... that I, actually, I, I don't think it was that smart what I did here, because the... My infantryman is going to attack that clock thing first. And then the Blade Runner is gonna, not the Blade Runner, the Dust Runner is gonna shoot it. But the Dust Runner destroys everything in one shot as long as it's three or less health. So I, what I should have done is just moved that the uh, infantryman back just to hit the idol or something, just to do some more damage. But as you know, I make some mistakes when I'm playing because I'm relatively new to the game. So I'm just sacrificing that to so have four, uh, four order every turn, and so I could play this uh, Ducal Skirmisher, pretty good card. Has relentless ability, which is very good when you're attacking. You just keep plowing through everywhere. Good health also. So now I took down that. And I like my spot on the board now. Because remember when the game started, he started with those three units. And now I have all these units. Although he just destroyed one of my idols. So now he only needs to get two more. I'm thinking those three idols on top, I'm going to protect with my life. I don't care if he goes down to that last one and blows it up because he has to destroy one of those also to win. And I think I can take the three down opposite me because they're open right now. And I believe that is exactly what I did. So now I, I should use incendiaries, but it won't actually like, won't actually, uh, do anything because he doesn't have any structures you see i don't have as many energy cards as order cards in the deck so a lot of times i just waste how much uh, energy i have every turn and focus is a great card focus what it does it, all it does is makes your attack plus three for that turn so you just put it on a guy that's about to attack and it'll have three plus attack so right now that guy has two attack i put that in his three attack and then i think i'm going to move him down Maybe I'll move the infantryman up to him to give him six attack. The guy with the brown, the brown cap. So he'll have six attack. That's an amazing attack, and he'll do a lot of damage to one of these idols. And I think I, that's exactly what I did. Yep. Now he's five, and then I move him, or maybe I move the yeah, I move him. So then he has six attack right now, and he will just attack that uh that idol. So he'll have four left. Great attack. And um, I have three order left, so I just used Decimation, I believe, on that big row. For not really any big reason. I probably shouldn't have, because it does two damage on the idol also, and I wasn't going to go after that idol. And those guys weren't doing anything anyways. So it doesn't really matter much. I'm, I am in a little bit of trouble if uh, that Gravelock Elder, the green thing in the front of his row, uh, spawn gets other Gravelocks, and then he'll become more powerful. So he just played a spell on my uh, Dust Runner, which will kill him before he attacks, because it will do some damage and he doesn't have much health. So there's really nothing I could do about this. It, it's kind of annoying, because I believe if, um, no I wouldn't, actually, I believe that if he didn't do that, I may have been able to take down that, uh, that idol just this turn. But I couldn't, I'm just going to get rid of the Incendiaries card, and I got a Copper Autonomous, I want to play that, that's a good card. It only takes one energy to play, but it has four power, it does break after you attack, but it's a great, like, sacrifice card, it's really good. So I'll just play that there. Come on, play it already. Okay, well, and 
My, uh, I think I'm gonna play the Kabank card, or, or actually, no, I might play Ducal Skirmisher. Not sure which I'm gonna play, but Kabank is pretty good. Basically, all you do is you click on a unit, and it takes one damage, and you get a, because it's draw another, another card. So, I, I have a lot of those cards in my deck right now, and I play the little guy. So, now I'm guessing I'm gonna use Kabank and Resonant Helm, because I can't really do anything else. Unless I didn't sacrifice yet. I did sacrifice already. Yep, so I got rid of that guy, even though I didn't really need to, but I got a new card. And I have two Resonant Helms. Resonant Helm is a very powerful card if used correctly. You put it on a unit, and then all the... Every time you play a spell or enchantment, that unit you put it on will uh, gain plus one in health. So, those guys both have it, so they're gonna be... They're gonna get a lot of health soon. As soon as I play all these spells. So, I can see I'm really taking down these three units on top, and he's not really helping them. I don't know why he's playing guys down there. It's a little, that's like a problem with the AI in this game. Right now, it's early in the game, they're not very smart. They, if you stay away from them, kind of, they just don't move. Because at least what they should be doing is going down to that bottom row and at least shooting that, that idol down there. So now that little guy is 5 attack and my infantryman, because he would have 4 and the infantry get men gives him 5. And I'm moving them all in one row so they have complete attack. So I will be able to destroy that idol, I believe. Yeah. Or no. I, yeah, I, I just want to destroy... Yeah, that has 9 health, so I wouldn't have destroyed it anyways. I think I wanted to move that guy down because I wanted to destroy that, that middle idol in one hit. Because I think it has 4 health left. And that redesign um, thing... I could use that. What it does is it could be a really powerful card if used correctly. It switches um, the unit you click on's attack and health, which can be amazing. But I don't really have anybody to use it on right now. What you want to do is maybe you have like a like a very not strong but really like like big a lot of health, a big structure like that can attack. Then you want to use that and it's like it gains like six power or something all right so i played another one of those guys just for my units i want to fill up that side of the board order is a lot about f putting a lot of uh units down um like controlling the board and basically buffing them up to be unstoppable so i took down one of those idols with my guy i see all of his opponent all of those guys are going to attack but i don't really care because that he's probably not going to move him anyways but I did. I think I forgot to mention he had a redesigned card also that that uh the energy card that flips their attack and health and he did that with his big guy. I don't know why I did. I decided to put a wall there just in case he decides to move up or move down because he can hit those. There's two idols there, um, above like below my two my bro of guys and then on the bottom that that are relatively easy to get. So I just want to protect it a little bit just in case. But I think I have it in the bag. We're only at round 8 and I'm already feeling very good about this game. So right now I guess I'm just going to have to play Dust Runner and nothing else I could really do. Even though there's no idol, I already destroyed the idol in the spot I'm playing him. I don't want to get him in there because then that would kind of clog the board a little bit. It's hard to move my units around. So yeah. I didn't use the Faith Blessing because the Faith Blessing heals your idol and hurts one of your units but i don't really have any idols to heal because they all i think have 10 health besides the one that's broken you can't heal after it's broken so we did decide to move down that time destroy my wall which i don't really care about i only have to do six damage to that and one damage to that to win so over here i do make some mistakes i could have more maximum damage in like the next couple turns but it didn't really come back to hurt me because i did win this and you see he played another uh, Gravelock Elder there, which was pretty annoying because you now I have to take that thing down. And, yeah. He's still playing things down there, which really isn't that smart. I assume that Mojang's gonna try to fix that. Because I'm kind of exploiting one of the, uh, one of the bugs in the game right now. So, I'm looking at that guy's 6 health, which is pretty good. It's upgraded because every grave every grave lock guy you have in the board uh increases all the other ones health and like all that stuff health and attack so he has two on the board so that helps them it's annoying he has six so 
what I'm thinking is I'm going to use I want to take I have to take that thing down and just do one damage to that idol that idol over there has one damage so I sacrifice the card just so I can do some damage to that thing so that I can take it down with this next hit and I just play a card just for uh just play a card just because I have the uh order to play it and just to get more power on that side of the board and that guy will raise the attack I believe yeah it's a ducal infantryman so I think I play it on top next to that guy yeah so that will give him that will give him five attack which will destroy that guy and he has relentless that's his ability like they have ability just like in like Pokemon and stuff and that means after he attacks, he'll continue attacking everything in the row. So I just won. Yep. Um, I don't know why in the bottom there it has zeros all over there. It's just a glitch. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you liked the video, and see you next time.